My name is Gabrielle and today I'm gonna make you how to make an old-fashioned in grandma's house. So it's pretty simple. You're gonna find an old-fashioned glass, ice, orange or lemon but my grandma had only orange today. Sample of Angostura bitter that she found at the market and of course our bourbon that today is Jim Beam Black. So pretty simple. So first take your glass. Oh, and I forgot. You're gonna find really cute like sugar cube in her house. So get a sugar cube, put it in your glass, get your bitters. So Angostura bitters used to be a medicamentation, so don't be shy to use a lot. Three four drops. After you can model it with a muddler or a spoon or a fork that you found really simple. So muddle it until that there's all the sugar is mixed with the bitter. And after you can add your first your first block of ice. Oops, sorry. Don't take it if it's going away. Some people are gonna add water just for help um, to dissolve the sugar with a bitter in the ice. So basically, an old fashioned being created at the end of the 19th century at the Pendennis Club, uh, which is was a gentleman club. So technically, it's a gentleman drink. But if you have a lady who order this at your bar, please say cheers to the lady. So, you start and you turn with a bar spoon your eyes. You just want to start to dissolve your sugar in the water or make it easier to add it with the spirit. So you see, I got just a little bit of water, just a little bit, and my sugar starts to dissolve. So after that, you can start to add your beautiful gin bin black. So you have to go like in, um, how do you say this? You have to go uh, in a um, step because you really want to control the dissolution of your cocktail because you don't want it too much diluted, just enough for keep like the bite of the spirit, but add enough water to lose like the harder taste of the water and be easy to drink it. So add the first ounce of it. Add more, add one more cube of ice and start and again start to dissolve. When you use a bar spoon you have to hold it like this in your finger. So one finger here, another one here and two and you have to give just a turn, easy turn with your other finger here just to make it round around your finger. You see? Maybe you're gonna need a little bit of practice, but practice with water and, and ice before. Like this is gonna be easier when you are gonna use spirit. So turn a little bit, have a sip, get used to the taste, to the spirit. I feel the bait, I feel the bite of the spirit, but it's still tasted. I'm gonna have another ounce bit. Continue like this. Taste it just a little bit before you think that it's ready. Just for make sure it's going to be perfect. You know, I had a little more touch because I'm in holiday and I like booze. I'm going to finish with a nice cube of ice. Last bar spoon. And I'm gonna use our lemon um, orange. You can use our lemon or um, orange, as I said earlier. 
Um, I like orange. I like lemon too. So you can cut it just like this, quite um, quite big, and you just put it in between your finger like this, and you spread it on the top of your glass. Put a little bit here and add it to your drink. Please enjoy the old-fashioned at Grandma's house.